to animals, humans are kind of like the gods. And so we have a lot of power over animals energetically and physically, obviously. God put us here as guardians of the earth and to have dominion over the earth, which really only means to look after and safeguard the earth and all of its inhabitants. It doesn't mean eat everyone and harm everyone. <laughs> so we are like gods to the animals and we have power over them. A true powerful being is someone with a big powerful heart who's strong and protective over the good rather than who overpowers the weak to try and bully and intimidate and try and get some kind of false sense of power through belittling others and animals and stuff. But even if you don't think you're belittling your animals when you're calling them names or saying silly things, because our energy is so powerful over them, if we cast a spell upon them and say, oh, he's always awkward, he never walks, like, you know, to go for a walk, he never wants to go for a walk, he's always dead awkward, what happens is then your pet will be dead awkward every time you go for a walk because you keep putting that energy on them and maybe they were awkward once and it's possible they just had bad energy or were having a bad day but when you go for a walk they ground the energy they get rid of the energy anyway so you can get rid of it that way or if you're holding them like on a lead you can be channeling your positive energy down the lead to them or reversing it and pulling the negative energy out of them through the lead so you can actually help and assist them if they're having a bad ray, but when we call them names and we cast spells on them and stuff, it can actually stick to them and affect them in negative ways. So just be really careful what you say to your pet. Be nice, speak nice things to them, encourage them, be positive. Because uh, even if you're joking, sometimes it can actually put a bad spell on them.